Hello, everybody, and welcome to the latest episode of Dome Runners TV. I am your host, Crimson Oracle, and today we are going to be counting through all of the stuff I got painted in January and February of this month. This is quite a collection of stuff. Um, I pride myself on being a fast painter. Uh, I try to paint a lot, and I am hoping that this is, you know, putting me on track to, as the hashtag says, complete all of my models this year. Everything that I own that's assembled, fully painted, um, and I don't want anything, you know, sitting on sprue unless it's, you know, spare Necromunda gangers, uh, because I need those to, uh, to paint later for whatever I went up cooking with. So, um, I am like very proud of what I have managed to get painted in this time. Um, I, my goal was to paint at least two models a day. And I think I've kept pace at right around three. Um, it's, slowed down a good bit in February. Uh, I think largely because I've been working on YouTube stuff so much. Uh, it turns out that this video editing stuff is a lot of work and a lot of time is dedicated to it. Um, so I am, you know, I'm definitely in it in terms of finding a balance there. Uh, it's the kind of thing that I think some of it will get easier and some of it will stay just as much of a slog. But uh, don't forget to like and subscribe so that you can get more of my content. And I've got my third battle report coming up next Monday. Um, I'm trying to get into a twice a week release schedule for the videos. Uh, they won't always be as long as the battle reports. This one, for example, is fairly short, uh, but I am going to try to put two videos out every week and uh, we'll see what grounds they cover. Um, I'm thinking about doing stuff related to uh, building, you know, uh, gangs for affordable rates. Like what's the, you know, the cheap starter way to run, you know, Goliath or what have you. Uh, I am also interested in doing some train builds, that kind of stuff. But I am, of course, still largely focused on trying to get uh, games in and get those recorded because I think that's the best way to show people Necromunda. Yes, this is my kitty Omar. Yes, he's barging. <laughs> oh, so anyway, enjoy this moment since he clearly needed my attention and he's gonna bite me for some reason. I mean, he wants, he wants me to hold him, but he's gonna bite me. Okay. Is that better? Adorable cat antics aside, I am hoping that uh, the... <sighs> completely thrown off by the cat in my lap. <laughs> okay, okay. So cat antics aside, um, I'm hoping to really make this YouTube somewhere that uh, anyone who's interested in Necromunda wants to check out but also I do want to cover other topics. So uh, I'm thinking that next week will potentially be one of my first uh, video essays and uh, we'll see if I, I can get it done um, by then. But if not, um, maybe it'll be something else. So uh, until then, uh, Monday, you should expect a new battle report. And uh, when I get uh, another game taped, you will get another battle report after that. So I hope everybody has a good weekend and enjoy. So for the month of January, uh, I opened with a Blackstone Fortress model for uh, Battlefleet Gothic that I printed and painted in one day and I really liked, made it for a video. Uh, next, I painted a Feculent Gnarl Maw and the uh, Gashrax Filers uh, Warband for Warcry, or, well, I guess I painted it for Warcry, but technically it's an Underworlds Warband. Uh, and then the biggest chunk of the early part of January was spent painting up a Ghost Warband that would go with my copy of Cursed City, as I really want to explore some of the other, uh, factions in the Death Faction. And next, of course, I did a 3D printed pirate ship. That was a ton of work, but still counts as one model. Um, so I was really happy to get that done with. 
And then of course I painted the pirate ogre crew and their grots. And then I, on the momentum of that, decided to embark on a even bigger, uh, more difficult, more detailed ship build, uh, completing the airship that I had been planning to make, uh, again, counting as one model. Um, and of course I did a crew for that. I also randomly printed up some uh, Raiders for Dark Eldar in a six millimeter scale and painted those. And then of course, I went ahead and painted a Necromunda board that I printed almost two years ago and finally have done painting. And then there was a bunch of Blackstone Fortress tiles, which I'll be using for the Inquisitor 28 event for Nova. And I did the Tyrants, uh, Spire Tyrants for Warcry and a Shard Speaker for my Hedonites. And then there was a big load of uh, Maggotkin that were done mostly just because the Maggotkin book came out and I was inspired by the, you know, <laughs> everyone getting interested in them and, and talking about them. And I have very little desire to actually play Age of Sigmar. Uh, Warcry interests me, but Age of Sigmar just really doesn't scratch my itch. So I went ahead and just did all of these anyway, uh, just because the momentum was there. And I'm really happy with how all of them turned out. The extra bits uh, from the uh, from the Blight Lords the, on the fly things came in really handy for making a variety of dudes. Uh, and I, I couldn't be happier with how they wound up turning out. Um, there's also, of course, a large number of Necrons that I got with the Indomitus box and finally got around to painting and I went ahead and 3D printed a version of Trazen, which is up to my standards. I'm kind of picky about my models and I really don't like the old Trazen model. So I went ahead and printed this glorious model that I found on Thingiverse, which is a Necron Lord Trazen sitting on his throne and I just love it so much. And of course, I did all the rest of the models in that particular set. And that really uh, bumped up my numbers for January. Uh, it got kind of ridiculous towards the end. But, you know, uh, it was just giving myself a head start so that when things fell off a little bit in February, I wouldn't be so worried. <laughs> So with 141 painted in January, I moved on to completing uh, a start collecting set of Karadron Overlords, uh, the other half of the Beast Grave starter set. And then I have been working along uh, to get some adversaries for the Blackstone Fortress done. I 3D printed some uh, large Guardian drones because there weren't any uh, available online. And then I did a ton of the Blackstone Fortress tiles once again. These are going to be a ton of fun for creating thematic environments, and I'm going to print a ton of them. I've already made a bunch, um, more than enough to play Blackstone Fortress on, but I have more to go because uh, this is going to be basically a combo of kill team and a dungeon crawl for that. Uh, particular game, so it's going to require a lot of variety of stuff. Uh, and I'm particularly happy with the uh, Chaos God infused ones. Uh, I actually was so inspired that I made a Slanesh Chaos Space Marine, and he was one of the models I painted. And then I did some reinforcements for my Vansar player, uh, as well as finishing up some of his models that I wasn't done painting yet. Um, so I was very pleased with how those juves turned out. I converted the two of the three from the old metal juve models. Uh, and then I also made this really lovely sniper that I felt the need to uh, get painted up as well for Ash Waste. And of course, those of you who watched my uh, video last week about the Tarantulas converted warband, I did do that as well. And I'm just going to go through all of the models here because uh, that's just how I set up the video. And like I said, I did some work on some of my friends Vansar and some of my friends Orlok. 
um, which will bring us over 200. And I painted a few more models for my uh, little Slanesh Warband for Warcry. Uh, I was really happy to dig into the Slangor models. I know that they're probably not the best in Age of Sigmar, but they are a beautiful model and I love painting them. And with that, uh, don't forget to check out the podcast, domerunners.broadsprout.com. And uh, if you're interested in supporting the show, uh, the Dome Runners uh, on Patreon will get you there. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you next week with a battle report.